Suppose you have a sum from j equals 1 to 4 of j. That means when j equals 1, j is 1. When j is 2, j is 2. When j is 3, it's 3. When j is 4, it's 4. And you add them up, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, to get 10. Now suppose instead you had the sum from j equals 1 to 4 of 2j. So when j is 1, 2j is 2. Plus, when j is 2, 2j is 4. Plus, when j is 3, it's 6. Plus, when j is 4, it's 8. And you get a total of 20. Now, if you have the sum from j equals 1 to 4 of 3j, that would be 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 equals 30. Instead of doing those separately, you can write a double sum. The sum from i equals 1 to 3 of the sum from j equals 1 to 4 of i times j. So first you say i is 1, and you get the first sum. Then you say i is 2, and you get the second sum. And you say i is 3, and you get the third sum, and you add up the sums. It is a sum of sums, so you get 10 plus 20 plus 30 is 60. A different double sum can actually have i go 1 to 4 and j go from 1 to i. So for the first sum, it goes 1 to 1, so there's only one term. For the second sum, j goes 1 to 2, so you have 3 plus 4 is 7. For the third term, j is 1 to 3, and you get 15. For the fourth term, j is 1 to 4, you get 26. And you can total up 2 and 7 and 15 and 26 to get 50.